Avengers finally calls it a day, 343 confusion with the Halo franchise, and Switch demand increasing. This is Game Fake News. If you like it, click the like button. If you want to find out more about gaming news, click subscribe. First off, for our soups on stories, the DualSense Edge controller will be out worldwide on Thursday and outlets are starting to receive their review copies. Game Awards host Jeff Keighley posted this video on Twitter showing off the controller. Like the Xbox Elite controller, this will not be cheap, costing $200 or £210. If you're among the very few people who wanted a reason to jump into The Witcher 3 but haven't yet, CD Projekt Red have your back releasing a PS5 box copy this Thursday. This will be the same game as the PS4 upgrade, which was free, but will come in a nice white PS5 box if that's your thing. Nintendo Life have reported on speedrunner Player 5's Zelda Breath of the Wild run of 50 completions in 24 hours. Each run through used a variety of tricks to clock in an average of 25 minutes. I completed the game yesterday, but will not be sharing my time. On Friday, Dead Space Remake will be out, and the game seems to be a slam dunk for EA and Motive Studio. The technical director had an interview with Play Magazine last week in which he revealed that even his knowledge of the game didn't stop him being scared because of what they call intensity AI. There were also a few reports at the weekend of alternative endings, so this will definitely be one to check out for of fans of the franchise and genre. Now to our headlines, Marvel Avengers from Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix is finally ending its development. The development team released this statement, after two and a half years and introducing 12 of Earth's mightiest heroes, following update 2.8 on March 31st, 2023, we will no longer add new content or features to Marvel's Avengers. All official support for the game will end on September 30th, 2023. Even after official support ceases on September 30th, 2023, both single and multiplayer gameplay will continue to be available. As a show of our appreciation for our community, starting March 31st, 2023, we will make all the game's Marketplace Challenge card and shipment cosmetic content available to all players for free. The game seemed doomed from the very start, with many reviews criticising its grind and longevity. When I played the game, I found it very enjoyable for the first few hours, but soon lost interest and moved on to more enjoyable games. Some blame the game's lack of success on their decision to not license the actors' likenesses. However, this decision hasn't seemed to hold back rival game Spider-Man. The difference between Avengers and Spider-Man is that Spider-Man was always intended to be a single-player experience. You get the feeling that Square Enix changed their mind quite late on in this project to push this multiplayer and service-like components. Crystal Dynamics are a studio that have fantastic pedigree with single-player games, like the Tomb Raider reboot games, but clearly did not have the experience to incorporate what Square Enix wanted. The writing for this game was on the wall when it joined PlayStation Plus just after its release. This deal would have never gone through if Square Enix had confidence in this game. Square Enix sold Crystal Dynamics, who are currently working with Microsoft to embrace a group last year, but the deal allowed for ongoing support to previously released games. Next, there were some conflicting headlines on Friday and over the weekend on 343's status when it comes to Halo. After the raft of job cuts from Microsoft we reported last week, it was starting to emerge that 343 could have been the target of many of those cuts, with up to a third of their workforce removed. Metro translated a tweet from leaker Bath Road Spartan, which discussed in details the issues at 343, their roadmap, but most importantly, the decision for them not to work on the Halo franchise anymore. The leak gained a lot of traction online since it seemed very believable. So believable, in fact, that the official Halo Twitter account had to release this tweet at the weekend. 343 Industries will continue to develop Halo now and in the future including epic stories, multiplayer and more of what makes Halo great. It must be said though that we have seen the games industry flat out deny things for months, weeks or even days before the leaks are confirmed. Anyone remember Reggie from Nintendo denying the new DS one day before it was announced in 2006? Talking of Nintendo, in our final bit of news, apparently they're going to be ramping up production of the Switch over the coming year. To some this may be a surprise given the fact that the original Switch was released in 2017 and should be seeing less demand, but many of those years were hit by shortages and with games they're planning to be releasing this year, Nintendo may be right with this one. We already know about Zelda Tears of the Kingdom which will shift lots of units. 
The Mario movie will push the IP further into the mainstream, which will be impressive since Mario is already the most recognisable character worldwide. There are strong rumours that a new Mario game will also release this year alongside the movie. This will be consistent with 2017, which saw a new Zelda game at the start of the year and a Mario game at the end of the year. Nintendo's two largest IPs releasing the same year, next to a movie, will have to be a stronger year than last year, in which it was heavily relying on the Pokemon games. Anyway, that's it for today. Have you played the Avengers game, and what did you think? Do you think it's time for Halo to move on to a different studio? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Game Fake News.